Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator ice stripper. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new ice stripper. The ice stripper goes on the front of the ice maker and it helps the ice cubes go from the ice maker into the ice bin. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged and the ice cubes are getting stuck in the ice maker. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the door open, we can pull out the ice container. All you have to do is lift it up and pull it out. Now we can unplug the ice maker. We're going to reach in and pull up on the cord. You may have to reach in with a long flathead screwdriver and release these little locking tabs so you can pull up on the cord. Once you have them released, the plug should just come out. The ice maker is held in by these two quarter inch screws. We're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to take them out. Now that you have the screws removed, we can pull the ice maker out. All you have to do is lift it up and pull it out of the freezer. Now that you have the ice maker out of the freezer, we can take off the ice stripper. All you have to do is flex it down here by the control head so these tabs come out. And then you can lift it off the pin down on the other end. Here's the old ice stripper next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new ice stripper on, we're going to lift up the ice maker so we can put the end of the stripper onto this pin right here. Now that we have that end on, we can turn the ice maker over. And just like we took it out, we're going to have to flex it to get the, this tab to go into the control head. Once you have the tabs in, you want to press in on the center so it locks into place. Now that we have the stripper in, we can put the ice maker back into the freezer. You want to lift it up into its position and make sure that the fill hose goes in the fill cup and that it sets on its little shelf. Then we can put the screws back in and plug it back in. Then we can reach up and plug the ice maker in, making sure that it snaps in and locks in place. To put the ice bin back in the freezer, all you have to do is line it up with the slides and push it back into place. Now that we have the part installed, we can close the freezer door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.